All right, it's time for another weekly squared all. Uh, if you're not familiar with squared all, this is like Wordle, but it's on a grid. We're guessing a row and a column at the same time. And the weekly version just has more words. And this eight is how many guesses we have remaining. And uh, it was a couple weeks ago now, but somebody suggested that I should start with doing the word eerie five times to, I guess, just get ease all over the place, um, which is obviously not a good start, but sure, why not? This is probably a bad idea, because <laughs> we're also only checking three letters, E, R, and I. But, you know, maybe if we know where the E's, R's, and I's are, then um, we'll be able to... Oh, well. Okay, well, that was good. That was good. Could we get any other greens? Okay, well. Um, now, the downside is, you know, we only have three guesses remaining at this point. Um, but we should know where all the E's, R's, and I's are. Um, so... Uh, there's an I in the row up here. Okay, so there's an I in the first row and the fourth row. Ah, but it can't be in the first column, second column. So up here it's third or fifth. It could be IE. That's not great. I'm kind of thinking I there, but ending with an I isn't great either. But there's also one in this column, and it can't be fifth or second. And it's not going to be II at the... Well, yeah, no, it could be like radii, but... That's not gonna work. So I think there's an I there. I think that's pretty safe. Um, we've got the one there, which is the only one in that row. I think those are the only I's. Those three. There could be one here. There could be an I there, but... Alright, what about R? So we've got an R, first, second row, and that's it. Only the first and the second row. And the first... Uh, first column and the fourth column. So there's R an R in one of those two and an R in one of these two. But we don't know beyond that. Okay, so there's R somewhere in there. Um I'm kind of thinking R here and that's okay and then E Where are the E's? There's there's <laughs> first row, third row, fourth row, fifth row. There's no E's. Is that the only E? That's the only E in the grid. Okay, well, shoot, <laughs> that was not good. Okay, well, I'm thinking R and I, and then new letters, I suppose. What would end, ending in an I is interesting. Otherwise, this has to start with IE. Yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't think that can start with IE, so I think that's definitely an I, okay. So now we're starting with an R, potentially. Otherwise, it's R-I at the end. Or both. It could be both, but... And it can't be radii, because we can't put another I there. We could do... We could do rabbi with a double B. And then... Yeah, because this would then be an R. And B-R-I, that's pretty good. Something... I mean, brick, bring... You know, there's lots of things that could be. Brisk. So I think that's pretty good. Rabbi isn't a terrible guess there. Um, I think it has a decent chance of being right, actually. I'm going to go for it. Yes. All right. Okay. And the A was there. Okay. That's huge. Because that got us a bonus guess as well. Okay. Now we've got A, and we know this is an R. This is a definite R now. So, I mean, avert, maybe? I don't know if I like that. What else could that be? Or uh, alert? Alert would work also. Either way, it would be a T there. IT, I mean, you could do, well, I was just saying you could do something like items, but there's no E. We know there's no E. Now, the, one of the downsides of guessing the answer right, I mean, obviously it's a good thing, right? But we didn't get any more clues from that other than, you know, the B, the, the white BBI over here. But, I don't know, avert, alert, um, AL is probably better for the other word. There's not as many AVs, you know. But there's so many things that could be. Um, so let's do... I want to do something... I want to do something with the LRT, but not the A and the E. Uh, we could do blurt, which the B isn't great, but at least the, the U, it's checking for another letter. We could also do flirt, but the I isn't going to be 
helpful. So we can either check for an F or we can check for a U, but... I mean, this could be a U. I have no reason to think it is. But these can't be Fs, right? That would be just be checking if there's an F in the grid. So I'm thinking Blurt is pretty good. It's alert. It's alert. There's no U. Okay, well... So much for that helping us out. And now, now, okay, well now I'm thinking, look at this B-E something. Uh, begin, maybe? Begin? That's pretty good. It would be a G here. Um, what's this? This is going to be I-T. Uh, I mean, you, you could do something like itchy, which would be kind of crazy. Uh, actually, actually, uh, logic. Logic, if we did... Okay, I was going to say that it's not going to be a C at the end of this word. But that's actually not too bad. Um, ooh, then the H here. So I, S-H, and you could do brisk and N-K-Y. That's, that's actually not too bad. Not too bad. Okay. Um, uh, ooh, ooh, this is, I was going to say aloof, but that can't be an O. Aloft? But the F? It's fish, but what, I mean, uh, I mean, you could do along. Mm, that's no good either. Alone. Oh, no, you can't do alone. Can't do allowed. There's no U. And it feels like this needs to be a vowel, but it can't be an I or an E. What about, what about A and aloha? And... Hmm. Nope, not liking that. Okay, let's come back down here to this brisk. Because this could still be an... Ah, uh, but that doesn't really help with that then. I was going to say you could do bris. And again, aloha. And you could do, you know, like pansy or something. But this H-I-S-H -S is the problem. I mean... <laughs> You do fish. That's the name of a band. I don't think that's gonna. Okay, well, you could do fish and Ralph. That's just the name of a band, though, right? Is that an acceptable guess? And then, oh, and Hanky. That actually works if that's an acceptable guess. All right. Well, let's let's go with logic, and see. <laughs> I can't believe this is working. I thought, I actually thought, well, I'm going to guess five Eeries. I'm, I, there's a good chance I might fail, but, you know, whatever. I haven't, I don't know if I've ever failed a weekly Squirtle. So, um, you know, I was thinking, it's fine. It's fine if I fail. <laughs> this is working out so much better than I expected. So, I mean, it almost has to be begin and itchy now, right? And so... If that's a definite N, this is a definite H, this is a definite Y. I mean, the I something H, it's got to be... What else could this be besides bris or brisk? Because you can't do like bring because, you know, I and H wouldn't work, so... Ooh, you could also do brick... Ooh, and, ah, uh, well, I was going to say which, but then that doesn't work. The W doesn't work with the R-A-L. I don't know. I, I'm kind of thinking, I mean, the R-A-L, I, I, I think I'm going to go with fish. It might not be right. I mean, it works really well. I just, I'm wondering if that's an acceptable guess, because as far as I know, it's just the name of a band. I don't, maybe there's another meaning for it, but... I mean, at this point, I think we're 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 okay guess wise. We've got three guesses, so if we miss one, it's not the end of the world as far as you know bonus guesses. Okay, it is fish. Editor Scott here. So I'm not sure why Past Scott didn't know what fish was because um, current Scott has known since before Past Scott existed that that's how you spell phishing when you're talking about like a cyber attack and you're looking for information on the computer. Um, where hackers are trying to fish for information, it's P-H-I-S-H, so I'm not sure why Pascot forgot that's how that word was spelled and was just thinking of the band, but 
there you go. That's why the word is in the grid. And if he'd realized that, he probably would have just guessed it a lot earlier instead of hemming and hawing. But, you know, that's the way it goes sometimes. Anyways, back to dummy past Scott and the rest of his soul. <laughs> All right. And then Hanky. Oh, wow. <laughs> wow. I mean... Starting with eerie five times and ending with a six is I couldn't I couldn't have couldn't have asked for anything better than that So it, let me know if you know of another meaning for fish besides the name of the band um, Otherwise, uh, you know nothing too weird um, some unusual semi unusual words, but nothing nothing too crazy So let me know how this solve went for you this week And uh, you know how many guesses you had remaining at the end of which word you had the hardest time coming up with and of course be sure to subscribe for more